Honorable uh, Prime Minister, dear brother Amran Khan, Honorable Governor of Punjab, Chaudhary Muhammad Sarwar, eminent guest, Mr. Javid Anwar, acting rector, Dr. Arbat, students, faculty, staff, and administrators, distinguished guest family members, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am pleased to join with all of you today to celebrate the graduation of these young women and men who have successfully completed the rigorous requirements of Namal Institute. I know that I know that graduation from this fine institution requires not only high intellectual ability but also hard work, vigorous commitment, and often sacrifice from each of you. You have excelled and we congratulate you. I also thank your families for their confidence in you and for their dedicated and continued support for your education. Allow me to begin by saying that I'm very happy to be with you today to express our shared pride in the strong relations of brotherhood, friendship, and cooperation that exists between Pakistan and the United Arab Emirates. Thank you. Together, we celebrate our, our unwavering commitment to the continued growth of these highly successful and close relationships in all spheres of life. In fact, my presence here today gives me the opportunity to express my admiration for Pakistan and its, its great people. We in the UAE are proud to call Pakistan our brother and our friend. The excellent relations, relationships between our two countries enjoy the strong support of the people and leaders of both Pakistan and the United Arab Emirates. Thank you, sir. The reason, thank you. The recent successful visit to Pakistan of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and the Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, as well as the fruitful visits of His Excellency, Ex His Excellency Prime Minister Imran Khan to the United Arab Emirates reflect the commitment and determination to develop further our excellent relationships. Together, we seek to build bridges of understanding and respectful coexistence in order to achieve mutual benefits for both of our countries, for the Muslim nation, and indeed, for the entire world. I am honored to convey to you the warmest greetings and best wishes of all your friends and colleagues in the United Arab Emirates. I am also honored with the opportunity to speak in the presence of my dear brother and friend, His Excellency Imran Khan, Prime Minister of Pakistan. Mr. Prime Minister, you inspire all of us with your tireless work on behalf of Pakistan. You provide strong, enlightened leadership and a clear vision of the nation's future. I also admire and support your great efforts to grow and strengthen all aspects of UAE-Pakistan relations for the mutual benefit of both of our peoples. Further, I express my profound thanks 
and gratitude to you, Mr. President, for creating this outstanding institute and for presiding over this important graduation. This graduation is an event that reflects your enlightened vision for youth empowerment as an essential requirement for a better, more peaceful, and more prosperous future. In a brief span of about 10 years, Namal Institute here on the banks of the beautiful Namal Lake has become an essential element of the educational, cultural, and social landscape of Pakistan. 10 years. Thank you. 10 years is but a moment in historical times. But after that brief span of years, one cannot imagine Pakistan without Namal Institute. Its visionary mission of offering equal opportunity and a high quality education to a diverse student body, regardless of their financial ability and location, is definitely admirable. This mission is the worthy of a socially responsible, engaged with its community and student-focused institution that is commanding international attention. With this institute, you have articulated a great vision to create in Namal the largest knowledge city in Pakistan. Namal Institute already employs rigorous international academic standards and builds strong community and industry connections. Its key values of the environmental sustainability, community service, social growth, and economic prosperity resonate well with me as a minister of tolerance. I see these values as a great tribute to the chairman and founder, His Excellency, my dear brother, Amran Khan, who is, who is attentive to providing all useful opportunities for the young people in rural Pakistan by providing those youth with valuable educational opportunities Namal Institute is helping deserving students divert their energy into positive channels. In short, you at Namal Institute are guiding those who will shape the future, both of Pakistan and the region. Ladies and gentlemen, today's graduation is an op a real important opportunity to step and the continuing development of these graduates as leaders for the future. I am confident that their contributions after graduation will further enhance the distinct reputation of Namal Institute and provide a model for 21st century education in emerging countries. I'm also confident that today's event will bring into sharp focus our high hopes and expectations for the Institute itself. It also gives us the opportunity to express our appreciation to the faculty and staff who have worked so hard to support and help these students obtain higher degrees. For the graduates we celebrate today, I'm sure that national and global conditions and uncertainties are foremost in your minds. Over the centuries, the world has faced periods of unpredictability. Without a doubt, such is the case today. We live in interesting times with new and unforeseen challenges confronting local and global communities. 
we are continually barged with reports about the fragile condition of health among so many of the world's population. Societies around the globe strive to improve their quality of life. Issues such as global climate change, waste management, recycling, portable water, and renewable energy resources becomes increasingly important to sustaining the quality of our environment and to human life as well. Many adults around the world, most of them women, lack even the most basic literacy skills, and many children currently cannot attend school. Further, there are numerous conflicts over geography resources, religion, or political beliefs in many parts of the world. As a Minister of Tolerance in the United Arab Emirates, I am confident that tolerance and peaceful coexistence possesses the power to deal with all these challenges. My hope is for everyone, everywhere, to understand the moral necessity of a global movement of knowledge, understanding, kindness, tolerance, respect, and working together for the common good. That is the hope and aspirations expressed in the Abu Dhabi Human Fraternity document. That document was issued earlier last year in Abu Dhabi during the visit to the United Arab Emirates by both Pope Francis of the Vatican and the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Sheikh Ahmed Al-Tayyib. They jointly sent an important message to the world from Abu Dhabi. Their message signifies that all human beings must work diligently together in order to build a peaceful world, a safe world, and a world that is prosperous for people everywhere. Embedded in the human fraternity document, thank you, is an expression of our great pride that tolerant behavior is a hallmark of Islam. Islam respects free thought and promotes all initiatives launched in the service of peace and prosperity. Islam is an everlasting source of values and principles that promote peace, justice, and liberty. Islam affirms the values of human dignity and social well-being. Islamic behavior, ladies and gentlemen, is characterized by moderation. It is based on knowledge, ethics, and good works. Islamic behavior unites people and is based on equality for all. Islam provides an integrated approach to a happy and a rewarding life for all. Today, thank you. Today, and I'm from this, from this podium at Namal Institute, I call upon all people of goodwill to not only confront various misguided attempts to attack Islam and Muslims, but also to nurture and strengthen relationships with people of other cultures, religions, and beliefs. As an academic community, I urge you to include tolerance as an important element in discussing the benefits associated with knowledge and innovation. Indeed, there is new, there is now compelling evidence that tolerance and diversity increase innovation and economic prosperity. Dear graduates, 
I strongly believe that the energy, education, vitality, enthusiasm of young people can and will move local and global communities to seek solutions to the most important problems of our time. I strongly believe that it will be up to your generation to ensure that future prosperity will advance everyone and not just the few. It will be up to your generation to promote new ideas and policies to help our global citizens achieve more healthy, productive lives. It will be the responsibility of your generation to become knowledgeable and to act wisely. And it will be your wisdom that will help us all meet the challenges of the 21st centuries. You are now graduates of prestigious Namal Institute. Where horizon that you never knew existed were open to you. I ask that each of you take your achievements and use them to help those less fortunate find their own horizon. This way, you will contribute to your families, communities, and country in ways you never could have imagined. Congratulations on your graduation today. I extend my very best wishes to each of you as you begin this phase of your life. Shukran, wassalam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, sir. Mr. Chairman, may I request you to please present the award?